If you've ever zipped up after using the bathroom, only to find a few drops of pee sneaking out after you thought you were done, you're not alone. It's called post-void dribble, and it's super common. Let's break it down in simple terms. Why does it happen? The first possible cause is a blocked or narrow pee tube or urethra. This is not a very common cause. This could be caused by trauma, a previous urinary tract infection, or any instrumentation, like having a catheter that causes scarring and narrowing of the urethra. The symptoms can be similar to those caused by an enlarged prostate. Think of your pee tube like a garden hose. If there's a kink or narrowing, some pee can get stuck. You push most of it out, but a little gets trapped and sneaks out after you're done. The second more common cause is prostatic enlargement. The prostate is a small gland below your bladder that wraps around your pee tube. As men age, it can grow bigger. And this happens to most men over 70. A larger prostate makes it harder to fully empty the bladder, leaving some pee behind that drips out later. The pee typically traps between the internal sphincter, which is a small muscle fiber at the junction between the bladder and the prostate, and between the external sphincter, which is the main voluntary muscle that control urine and lies just below the prostate as shown in this figure. So after you finish peeing, some of the trapped urine could escape the external sphincter. The third rare cause is some weakness in the pelvic floor muscles. Certain muscles help push pee out completely. If these muscles aren't working well, due to age or other issues, they might leave a bit behind, causing dribbling. What can you do about it? If you have other symptoms, like a weak stream or going a lot, you are advised to see a urologist. They can check if you have a blockage or an enlarged prostate. Treating those issues often improves the dribbling. If it's just a few drops and no other urinary symptoms, try these tips to fix it yourself. One, urethral massage right after peeing, press gently behind your scrotum and push upward toward the base of the shaft. This helps squeeze out any leftover pee. Two, strengthen your muscles. Do Kegel exercises to strengthen your pelvic muscles. It's like pretending to stop your pee midstream, but don't actually do it while peeing. Squeeze for five seconds, relax for five seconds, and repeat. Three, take your time, don't rush. Give yourself a moment to fully empty your bladder. Another technique that might help is double voiding. This is a bladder training technique that involves urinating, waiting a short time, and then trying to urinate again to empty the bladder more completely. It can help prevent bladder infections, increased leakage, and increased frequency of urination. The bottom line, a little dribble after peeing is common, and simple tricks like milking, double voiding, and exercises can help. But if you have other symptoms, don't ignore them, talk to a doctor. This is the end of the video. I hope you found it educational and informative. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel to help its growth. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.